Hi, I'm Lauren Buzio, Tasting Director at Wine Enthusiast, and we're here today at Speer in Stellenbosch. Speer was established in 1692. The first vines planted very shortly after that, as we head into a, a rather uncertain future, and one that's going to influence our industry in many respects. Environmental preservation and being able to pass the space on to future generations is really important for us as a business. And with that, uh, community-focused projects. Tell me about what a visitor can expect to experience here at Spear. So on arrival, I think they would notice our setting. Uh, we have a beautiful wine tasting facility on the banks of, of, a, of a dam. We have a number of beautiful picnic locations. So we've become known really as a, as a picnic destination. We have a number of restaurants uh, across the farm with a particular focus on what I guess is known as, as farm to fork. You can take a stroll through a range of really well-preserved historic Cape Dutch buildings down to a hotel if you'd like to spend the night. Uh, we have a bird sanctuary. The Spear Arts Collection, which is a contemporary South African art collection, is in the background of all of this and is really key to what we are, I think, about as a business. It's curated and it's rotated on a regular basis. A place that you can relax, uh, a place you can commune with nature, but above all, a place that you can enjoy great food and great wine. So tell me a little bit about the Creative Block series. This is a really interesting initiative in which artists, local artists, are asked to paint uh, on a small block. And if chosen, uh, the artist receives cash immediately. And so it creates a revenue stream. You'll find these, um, these artworks in a number of different locations. In our tasting room, uh, there's a beautifully mounted wall of, of the Creative Block artwork, as is in the, in the hotel. We have a range of wines named after that project, the Creative Block Wines. And much like that project where the public can buy the blocks, um, but hopefully would buy more than one, these blend, blended wines, we think the, the fact that we have a number of different varietals means that we end up with a product that is perhaps greater than the sum of its parts. The first one we're going to taste is Greater Block 5 2011. It's a typical uh, Bordeaux blend based on predominantly Cabernet and Merlot. And the five simply means the five grape varieties that we use in a blend. Cabernet, Merlot, Cabernet Franc, Malbec and Petit Verdot. Our sourcing philosophy on, on these wines is, is um, grapes from the coastal region. And uh, when you look at the wines, the wine is actually only reflecting the differences in vintages. Of course, our sourcing philosophy is pretty much the same for every, every year. And what's the overall style that you're going for with this wine? We like freshness quite an elegant tone, but with lovely silky tannins to support it. And a big focus on middle palate. I think it's one of the biggest uh, focus points for me and my team is to create wines that uh, deliver more on the palate than on the nose. I certainly can pick up on some of those um, uh, ashy tobacco notes throughout. They're really attractive on the yeah. nose. Now the wine is opened up and you really pick up some, uh, some chocolate tones coming through there. I would like people to drink a few glasses of this rather than, than having a very extracted big wine, but not, not enjoying it, you know. Is this a wine that uh, could see a long-term aging? Yeah, I would like customers to enjoy it now when they buy it, you know, uh, drink it, but for those connoisseurs that wants to, to have it a bit more mature, they will be very surprised when they forget about it and pick it up three years later. <laughs> We have 21 perfectly restored Cape Dutch Gables on the farm. We decided to, to call our um, Ultra Premium Range 21 Gables, which really reflects our, our heritage. This is a single vineyard or terroir wine. So this, the style of this wine is really determined by the, the area. This area is very close to the, to the Falls Bay area, close to the ocean. And we have a lot of cool sea breezes coming through in the afternoon. The winemaking is, is quite simple. A lot of the fermentation happens in small one-ton open casks. And quite a big chunk of that goes naturally, which is in South African terms a brave step to, to pinotize in a natural way. But this vineyard is so uh, in balance and fresh acidity that we We've been doing it for a while now and it really reflects uh, the area. The structure is, is there, you feel the tannin in your mouth, but um, there's definitely a lot of, uh, or enough um, smooth and silky tannins that can and it rounds them off. The style that we want to reflect is that sort of freshness that comes at the end. What would you say that this wine would pair well with? 
a great stew will work with the wine. But I guess if you like the wine, you will find a meal that you can, can have with it. If you like the wine, the meal can be secondary. <laughs>